had to drop almost a mile back. How's it going? It's good. It's good. Sure, we smell the face tonight. If the wind cooperates. Once this rake is done, kindling cleared, she burn herself out. Shouldn't even come close to the cabins and camp areas. Okay. Go ahead and take a load off, man. We'll pick up the slack. I appreciate it, bro. Be careful. All right. All right. All right, folks. Grab a shower, clean your lungs, pleasure your wives. We're back in five. Want to clean it off? We'll be covered in, it in a few hours. My wife hates the smell. Long day like this, no overtime. I still hear they're making cuts. Yeah, I heard the PD's cutting back too. Well, ain't that some bull? <laughs> you see anything? Flip one more card and you are gonna bust. <laughs> Sweet dancing Jesus. Are you okay? I, I didn't hit you, did I? Damn, you just jumped right out in front of me. Radio. You have a radio in your truck? Sure. You need an ambulance? They're all gone. Everybody. What? I killed them all. Oh, shit. I thought they had the fire under control. It wasn't a fire. Come on. It wasn't a fire. You're bleeding pretty bad. Show my blood. Something attacked you? A what, a bear or something? I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Need a radio. Okay, we gotta go. Go get around this side, go. Go get in, get in. Hey, you should. Radio, radio. 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 Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. 
This is Ray, you there? Go ahead, Ray. I'm up here, just off 43, and we got us a problem. What's the problem? I got a fireman here who's pretty shook up. Yeah. A bear might have attacked his crew near the brake zone. It gutted him. It ripped him apart. Get somebody up here. Come on. I'm sorry. He's real shook up. I'm going to take him over to Westview Medical and then check out his story. I think uh, it might be the same crew that we lost contact with. And gravy. Ooh, yummy. So, so are we gonna go inside or are we gonna spend the whole day listening to the birds chirp? I'll tell you what, it sure beats the car alarms and sirens. Hmm. You ever miss it? No, I, I don't. Pick up. Well, don't leave her waiting all day. <laughs> yeah, Mary, this is Owen. What's happening with them fires? They've got a lot of the campers in the area pretty ticked off, but that's not why I called. What is it? They've lost communication with Ray around the relief site. Something about a bear couldn't really make it out. Well, that doesn't sound too good. Tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll be in in just a little bit. Mm, copy that. Can we uh, continue this later? I'll be right here when you get back. <laughs> All right, Ranger.
Hey, you got a pistol? It's in the back. It's in the what? In the back. Here, you're gonna need to keep. There you go. Come on. Are you serious? Well, we had some thefts around here. You can't be too careful. Right. sale. 25 cents down to 15 cents. They ain't go any lower. They make real good souvenirs too. I mean, just being a local legend and all. Shoot, we even had a sighting back in the 60s. Yeah, now those are on sale too. Shoot, I reckon just about everything in here is business been so bad lately. you just keep those. I mean, they look real nice on you. Thank you. Davis, you uh, <laughs> you must be Jack One. Right. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well, I can't thank you enough, Jack. I uh, read all about your history and your knowledge of the area. Got the money. But right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. You ever kill anything, son? No, no, not not really. Uh, I'm a I'm a scientist, more of an observer. Well, what you're looking for this uh, search, you're gonna learn real fast what death smells like. Boy, oh, you see, see, I don't want to kill it. I I just want to study it. Suit yourself. It's your dollar. All right. <laughs> I'm sure we can work all this out. We're all sensible people. We're not animals here. Hey, look, all I want is my refund. I am not staying in this place another night. We should have went to Universal Studio. 
Well, now, come on. This is the best season to camp out here. Now, why would anybody ever want to leave? The fires. The fires. The fires. The fires are under control, folks. They're not coming anywhere near the campsites. Well, how can you be so sure? Well, sir, that's my job. Now, I'll tell you, there is no danger for you folks, and you can hold me personally responsible for your safety. That's my word. All right? And, Martin, you take care of these good people. Hey, look. Give me the money. I want my money. Give me money. And I give you Hunter's Heaven. A true man's vacation made easy. I don't know, Hudson. Oh, it looks nice. All right, but, but the name, the name bothers me. All right, Hunter's Heaven, I don't need those religious fundamentalists coming down on me. Well, you know, names can be changed, but destiny, destiny, my friend, cannot be altered. And we're not going to get the states, okay? The state? <laughs> the state won't care. Land is land. It'll be where it always was, only a little shinier. Well, hey, Mayor Reynolds. Yes, sir, always a pleasure. How you doing, Owen? Very fine. You? I'm good. How's Ellen doing? Oh, she's great. I'll tell you what, she's about as big as a county fair watermelon. None too happy about it. <laughs> you tell her I said hello. I will. All right, look, I got to get back to the office, Hudson. Let's, let's take our time on this, all right? We'll talk more about it later. I look forward to it, sir. You take care, buddy. Me too. <clears throat> Beautiful day, huh, Hudson? It could be better. Say, I'm going to look into this bear business tend to get riled up around these fires. Speaking of which, you got any new information? Look, um, the fires are contained to the north, up here by the highway, and the cameras to the south, well, they won't even see any smoke over the horizon. So well, I'll tell you, I, I'm still a little, little concerned about it going to the east, you know, for obvious reasons. I mean, a man's got to protect his home. Look. I control all the copters that are sitting out there, the patrol, the status of the fires. If the slightest spark changes direction, you're going to know about it. Well, all right. While I'm out looking for Ray, I think I'll sweep for poachers. Poachers? <laughs> With all the chaos going on around here, I mean, don't you think we've got bigger concerns? Well, you know, hunting season only lasts a few months. I mean, these guys get eager. They get wily. Plus, with the fires running out the wildlife, I think it's a good idea. Look, we're lucky to have anybody at all visiting the park these days, so... Owen, Mr. Hudson, uh, uh... What? What is it? What is it, Martin? They found Ray's truck. Well, good. Doesn't want to see him. I don't think that's possible. This map's a little dated. It says, uh, copyright in 1963. <laughs> Land don't change. Things that inhabited. Well, well, I think we should start around the break zone. A few miles or so on the edge of the fire. According to the dates of the sightings you gave me, it seems like they have a regular hibernation periods. They don't hibernate. They just don't like to be found. Well, uh, some kind of adaptation. I mean, they're intelligent. They found ways to avoid us. Yeah, they're intelligent. But they're primal. They're deadly. And they ain't gonna have no time to deal with your theories while they're feasting on your throat. Yeah, okay, um... You see, it's... It's just not enough for me to prove their existence, Jack. I need to prove their evolutionary significance. 
Me and that guy's boy. Ain't got no morals, no ethics. They're savage. That's what makes them dangerous. Okay, uh, you know why I'm here. Uh, discovery, documentation. Why do you do this? I think your mama was eating paint chips when she was pregnant with you. I did my best, Richard. You don't have to be such an ass. Hey, I kid because I love. Why are you burning it? In case we get caught? It's called stashing. Well, the only useful thing I got out of the Marines. Hey, listen, you know, I'm starving. Why don't you take one of them poles and go see if you can catch us a fish? Maybe we could do it together? Or maybe you could do it yourself. I gotta finish setting up the blinds. Great. Some honey room. National park that's on fire. You know, after Atlanta, you promised things would be different. In case you forgot, things didn't go exactly according to plan in Atlanta. You forced us here, so you deal with it. You want to go back to living the way you were, Gabrielle? All alone, living in the street? No. I just thought we'd make an effort for things to be normal, you know? Like a real marriage, a family, a real life. We're together. Besides, this ain't the honeymoon. <laughs> this is what's gonna pay for the honeymoon. Howdy, boys. Y'all find Ray? Uh, no, not yet, sir. Uh, never seen anything quite like this. It's the worst animal attack we've had, ever. You mind if I take a look around? Uh, of course. Uh, we're all pretty much down here, and hello, and you've got more experience than anyone in five counties. Now, don't miss a day of that. Howdy, Bill, how you doing? They got the fire under control. Head and hurry. Hey, Bill. Don't hook this up just yet. Let me have a look around. Oh, Christ, Ray. What in the world did you get into? Those are bear claw marks right there. Think so, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm positive. Not so sure of myself. Take a closer look. Tell me that's not a human fingernail. Whoever was in here, maybe Ray, they were clawing to stay inside. They got pulled out. If it wasn't a Bear, then what was it? Maybe this town's legend finally come true. You know, I don't believe that nonsense, Bill. I mean, come on. It's your serious.
In the 70s, the sightings increased. Almost all of them were in force and it just weathered fires. I heard about this one out here, I knew I had to come. Okay, we know the basic area, but how do we really know where to start? Oh, here. How do you know here is way here? You can't just blindly dive into this. There are procedures and data that needs to be collected. This isn't a safari. You just can't. This isn't funded by some company. This is my own project. This is. This is are you listening to me? Yeah. Listen, this is, this is all I have. All my money, all my time. I've lost friends, family. You, Art, you gotta stop trying to intimidate me with this batshit crazy hunter in the woods routine you got going on, okay? How do you know here is here? How do I know here is here? Smell this. This is what the thing you're looking for smells like. That aside, how long you been out here? Uh, a couple hours, maybe. That's a lot of fish for a couple hours. You look like you're one of those outdoor naturalist survivalist types. You should see my tent making skills. You might change your mind. Hmm. I don't know about that. Pretty good judge of character. You camp around here? Yeah, uh, just up the stream, actually. Uh, is there a problem, officer? There's nothing wrong with fishing, is there? Oh, no, ma'am, nothing wrong with fishing. Not allowed to hunt. Fishing's all right, though, as long as you got a fishing license, some ID. Yeah, I do, actually. <sighs> well, hold on a minute. Is there a problem? North Carolina? Uh, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, North Carolina. Hmm. My mother's from North Carolina. It's a pretty place. Yeah, we're just camping here for the weekend. We? Are you with a group? You got some friends with you? No, my, uh, my husband Richard, he's back at camp. Your husband Richard. I'll tell you what. I'd like to meet your husband Richard, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing anything wrong, are we? No, ma'am. Didn't say you were. Just said I'd like to meet your husband, Richard, if you don't mind. Okay. Lead the way. Okay. Hey. Come on, forget these. I got him, I got him. I'll take him with you. Maybe you ought to not be looking at that thing so much. Trust me, Jack, it's working. It smells around here. You know, we made mar we've made marvelous strides in technology since the hunter-gatherer days. I'm just saying it smells around here. 
See anything big enough that registers on here? This close to the fire is probably what we're looking for. That way we don't miss anything. <laughs> Just at home. No land mammal can do that to something this big. <laughs> yeah. Great. I mean, this coffee's really good. I'll tell you what. Richard, you sure you're not telling me a lie? This instant coffee? Yes. Yes. Whew. I'll tell you what, it's delicious. It's nothing like a fish fry. That's why we're here. Fishing. Fresh air, fresh fish, um, sure beats the city. The city. That's where you're from? Atlanta. Atlanta. It's kind of a roundabout way from North Carolina, isn't it? Well, yes, I guess it is. So you think I'd take some of that coffee home to my wife? Yes, yeah. <laughs> take all of it. Whoa, you sure? Uh-huh. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Oh. Where'd you park? We took a bus in. That explains. Explains what? Explains why I didn't see a vehicle on my way in. <laughs> Is there something in particular that you wanted, Ranger? Besides coffee? It's great coffee. No, I guess that's it, folks. Well, uh, you got any guns in camp? Guns for fishing? You know, sometimes I think I'm losing my mind. That's what my wife says. Well, <clears throat> thank you folks for the coffee. And y'all enjoy yourselves. We'll see you. Hey, uh, I'm sure you guys heard about the fires. You're a little close, but y'all will be all right as long as the winds don't change direction overnight. I know. I've got a radio. We'll be fine. Well, I tell you, these fires, they rile up the wildlife. Push them out of their natural habitat. Things like that happen. It tends to bring out some mighty unpleasant predators. I don't mean the four-legged kind. No, sir, I don't think you do. I think you're talking about poachers. And what exactly are you trying to say? Be careful. Had a nasty report of a bear attack today. So you guys just gotta stay aware. There's one more thing. Enjoy your stay here in Bear Valley National Park. See you later. Sorry, I did not mean to bring him here. You just... You got so much to be sorry about, Gabrielle. So much. Jack, Jack, just, just hold on a second, Jack. I'm gonna take a listen. Well, if you're gonna take a listen, I'm gonna take me a smoke.
think you can get the Braves game on that? <laughs> I'm picking up something this way. Can you tell how big it is? I hate to spend another hour chasing down a raccoon. Oh, it's definitely bigger than a raccoon. We need to go this way. No, we gotta go up that way. Let's step. It's definitely the right way. Yeah? How are you so sure about that, Jack? You've been in these woods for years and you haven't found squat. Instinct isn't good enough sometimes. You need to put a little faith in science. I'd move out of the way if I were you. I'm taking down the best we can do. Then we go straight. You and V talk progress. You done yet? Sorry, it's my first time cleaning dead body parts off my face. But you ain't seen the worst of it. How you figure? Listen, shouldn't we notify the police that we found them? Not unless you want cops all over this place. Well, it's just the right thing to do. Look, the deal's off. I'm gonna give you your money back. Okay, no, 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 forget it, forget it, it's fine, it's, it's fine. Just, just stay, Jack, you're right, no cops, no cops. Tools. Tools, 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 tools. Tools! Huh. Look at this. He uses tools to hunt his prey. That's a sign of increased tactical skills. You can't humanize an animal. Wait, I don't think you understand what I'm saying here, Jack. This, is, this isn't about unearthing urban myths. This is revolutionary evolution. We're gonna be walking up that missing step, man. Your raccoon just got a lot bigger. I told you, just a little faith. And it's moving fast. Mary darling. Hmm, you better save the darling for your wife. <laughs> She's checking up on me, isn't she? <laughs> she wants you to pick up some milk on your way home. Right. Hey, uh, how's everything going at the camp? Everybody's leaving. We've lost a third of all tourists already. What about the firefighters? Still no contact, and some of their wives have complained that their husbands haven't returned home. I'm getting Hudson to send a copter later tonight to see what their status is. Say it's a pretty wet season, wasn't it, Mary? What you getting at, Owen? Nothing. Except it's a little odd for a natural fire. Maybe it wasn't natural. Maybe.
fire is stirred up just a little bit more than the wildlife. Oh yeah, like what? Our uh, old friend Jack Lunn. The monster hunter. Yeah, yeah, Mary, the, uh, the monster hunter.
Looks like I'm finally gonna get you to scream. Oh! You want them all for yourself, huh? You think you got us here all alone? I'm the one who got us here with my skills, my research! You're using me! Jeez! Get off my gun! You have to hit me in the nose! You have to hit me like a fullback. This really hurts. Good luck, boy. Listen, Jack, Jack, listen, man. This, this fire's given us a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, Jack. We gotta start working together. This maverick bullshit's for the birds, man. Can we just... Can we do that? I call the shots. I... We work together, but I call the shots. Wipe your nose. I think I lost the trail. We can use, we can use my tracker. Oh. Help! Somebody help! Let's go. Let's get out. Mary, you still in the office? Oh, and where else would I be? You do me a favor and call the station, have them run a plate for me. It's WWR4189. See if it doesn't come up under a Richard Hanley. H-A-N-L-E-Y. Copy that. Hey, Mary? Yeah, Owen. Hey, I'm still waiting on those plates. Hey, when's the last time the bus ran up around here? Oh, uh, let's see. I guess that'd be before I divorced my third husband. Sure it's been that long? Watch it, mister. Hey, Owen? Owen? Owen, you there? Yeah, Mary. Hey, Owen. You probably want to come back to the office to see this. I'm picking up something. You hear that? All my life. Just get closer. Crazy bitch. Shut up! You shut your mouth! You didn't see him! You did you didn't see you didn't see him! Did you kill it? No. Good. Good. What are you doing here? I don't know, fishing. Fishing with rifles. It's it's, it's okay, just just calm down. Just tell us what you saw. I I don't know, I think it was a bear, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a bear. It, did, did this thing do that to you? It's, no, it was a bear. It's okay, it's okay, just, just, just breathe, breathe. Come on, lover boy, get your toys out. Just give her a minute, okay, man? Hey, we're gonna lose its trail. Oh, no! 
No, please don't leave me. No. Jack, she's in shock. What happened to that dream? It's right out there. The only thing we were picking up on here was her. There's nothing else out here right now. Why don't we just set camp here and we'll continue in the morning. It's going to be dark soon anyway. If you want to circle the air and see if it's safe, you can go ahead. Why not just circle the air and see if it's safe? It's going to be dark here anyway. So I, I want a really big opening, you know? I'm, I'm shooting for something early next year. Yeah, we got one crew here today. How, how long before you can get another assembled? <laughs> yeah, we can have the contract run up by tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to it. Didn't want to spook you. That sounded like important business. Uh, yeah, it was. Here's a cute little model. Used to build old train sets myself. Uh, well, please tell me you got some word on Ray's whereabouts. Hadn't found him yet. But I do have an idea of what might have started these fires. Really? You do? I met an interesting couple today. Came out here in a stolen car. Okay, so? Well, see, this guy and his newlywed wife knocked over a convenience store up there in Atlanta. Now, the doozy about this deal is she shot the clerk. Now, she's wanted for murder, and he's wanted for armed robbery, plus a dozen other things, including poaching. Oh. So you're, um, you're thinking that he started the fire to run the, run the animals out? <laughs> well, this here's a mighty big guessing game. But I think old Ray might have found him out. You're saying they killed Ray? I'm saying it wasn't a bear. And uh, I thought you'd given up police work. I'd hope to. You know, this is, um, this is too much. <laughs> I'm going to call the station to have someone pick up our fugitives, and then we're going to have to close down the park. Well, well, hang on. You can't close down the park. It's our busiest season. You'll cripple the town's business. What's the station going to do? The fire's just about out, and they're just going to send old Jared out there to pick him up. Now, I, I might as well pick him up myself. All right, well, listen, I'll, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll pay these two a visit after I pick up some milk for my wife. You know, she is uh, wanted for murder. This could get serious. You, you don't want to carry a gun? I hate them things. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Sorry about that, Riley. You believe in monsters, Riley? I don't know. I just sell that stuff. Why do you ask me? No particular reason. Just one of those days, I guess. Oh, you starting to believe in our local legend, are you? Not me. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say. If something goes wrong in Bear Valley, blame Bigfoot. Jack Lund ever buy any of these? Nah, nobody ever buys that postcard. That's the problem, Owen. Nobody's buying anything. Shoot, that's why I had to sell the store. How long you been here, Riley? 53 years. That's an awful long time to just pick up and go. Yeah, well, you know, things are changing. I mean, Hudson was in here earlier. I guess he got some big plans for this place. Does he now? Yeah, honest to God. I mean, hell, he made me an offer, and shoot, I sold him the place on the spot. I don't want to be here anyway when it's all done and over. 
hate to hear that, Riley. It's going to be be sad to see you go. Owen, looks to me that uh, people like you and me don't have a place around here anymore. Thanks for the milk. See you tomorrow. All right, we'll see you. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I got it. I just picked it up. How you feeling? Fine. You sound exhausted. Did you come home? Well, there's nothing else I'd rather do right now. I, I just can't. A little bit more to do. Owen, what's wrong? Nothing. It's just, uh, it's been a long day and, you know. This doesn't sound like you, Owen. Sounds like the old you. No, it's it's nothing like that. It's just uh, I wanted to call you. I wanted to uh, I wanted to tell you I love you. You know that, don't you? Of course I do. I love you too. But what's going on? Nothing. Everything's all right. I'll be home soon. All right? All right. <sighs> what happened to the gum, Jack? Thought you quit smoking. Well, things are changing, boy, as we speak. He bought this ring. Look, I, um, I, uh, I'm really sorry about what happened to your husband. No one should have to see a loved one go through that. And I just, I love him. Not really. It's just nice to feel like someone had found me, you know? Like a family. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know what it's like to get desperate when you're searching for something you want to believe in. That doesn't mean you should give up. <laughs> Things that'll make you do. Look, I'm, I'm in the woods with a guy who handles animal intestines for a living. I think I understand. You've made a lot of mistakes. You can't regret everything. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. What are you doing out here? Proof. Looking for proof. And proof of what? Well, <laughs> uh, 
Have you ever known something was true? Everybody else thought you were crazy. Like, like it was, it was, and it was inside. It was like an internal awareness. Okay, all right. Like, um, for some people, it's religion. Some others, it's extraterrestrial life, past lives, whatever it is. It's different for every person. And what's yours? Well, uh, I failed my first science report in the fourth grade because of it. I nearly lost my degree because of my thesis I did on it. I have no respect for my peers, no funding, but I know it's out there. What killed Richard? Bigfoot. You can't be serious. Okay, all right, okay. I know, I know the name makes it sound silly, but is it really that crazy to think that there's more out there than we already actually know? Are we that limited in our thinking to think that we've discovered everything there is to be found? Eh, no, it just makes you call upon bad science fiction, that's all. Wait. Lord of the Rings was considered fiction until archaeologists in Indonesia found evidence of a prehistoric hobbit-like mammal. Tolkien was right. What? Well, he was. So what's in it for you? Me. I just want to see it again. Again? You, okay, what? You, you never told me you encountered him before, Jack. So what? <laughs> you actually held this story from me? I've, you owe me this, what the, what happened? You punch me in the nose, you, 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 you try to leave me in the woods and you're not gonna tell me this? They opened this park to the public in 1963. My mother had just died. And my father, he decided to escape to the woods. He wanted to teach me how to hunt. So we came here, father and son, bonding for a week. Except we only got to spend one day together. three hours to try and find enough pieces of my dad to bury him. I've been hunting these woods ever since. So that's what you're waiting for, huh? To see it again? No, honey. I'm waiting to make it scream. <laughs> waiting to make it scream.
Morning. Hope you don't mind I help myself. You uh you got yourself pretty far back up into these woods. Where's Richard? What the hell's going on? Morning, Jack. Jack, I got a business with this woman here. None with you. You lower that weapon, I'll pretend it never happened. You go your way and I'll go mine. Works fine for me. Why is she in cuffs? She just went through a trauma. Didn't you tell him about what happened in Atlanta? What's he talking about? Little stuff, armed robbery, murder. You take your pick. You, you, you killed someone? He was going to kill Richard. Well, I hate to break up your little camping trip, but I'd like to see Richard. He's dead. I'd still like to see him. Not much to see. He was attacked by Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, Jack. Jack take you out on one of his little adventures, did he? I hear they're quite convincing. Hey, I don't feel bad. You're not the first sucker to fall for it. Not this time. Okay, wherever you're taking her, we're going with you. Does that go for you too? Might just be worth it to see the look on your face. for this. I know every animal in this park. And now you know another. He's panicking. His regular food supply was lost in the fire. Well, why would he kill Richard? It's territorial. He's, he's, he's Save he's your theories, to... Doc. It's not that complicated. Well, then what is it? Revenge. Jack, I don't care what you guys were looking for, all right? It's safe to assume whatever it is, it's agitating up already. You guys clear out of here, the park's officially closed. And don't say a word to anyone about monsters. We're not leaving. I've been waiting too long for this. No way we're stopping now. Fire's moving in. Don't do this to me, Jack. We're too close. Yeah, well, that wind must have shifted. Those firefighters should have had it contained by now. Listen, I don't care that you've been scamming people for years, Jack. But this, this, this thing, this thing has destroyed both of our lives, and this is our chance to make something of it. What, what, what about the, what about the samples we found? The hair samples? That was beaver fur. I planted that. You planted? Please don't tell me you're playing this shit. Oh. Can you 
so close. Which is why we need more ammo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, I will push you back. <laughs> yeah, Mary, it's Owen. Owen, where have you been? Are you okay? Mary, I found Ray. You're gonna have to try to locate his wife. Okay, well, what's up? Yeah, we got us a bad situation up here, Mary. You better believe we do. Hudson never sent the copter to check on the firemen. Randy drove out there this morning. They were all dead. The fire's been moving. What do you mean it's moved? Well, it's moved over to the East Ridge. You need to get home. Get Ellen out of there. Owen, do you copy? Owen! Owen! Yeah, yeah, Mary, I copy. Hey, listen, you're gonna have to handle this chopper on your own and get a new unit out there. I'm in route, you copy? Copy that, be careful. Is that your wife? Do you have anything to do with these fires? I didn't have anything to do with these fires. But, but cut the shit! People are dying Look, here! Look, I swear, what are you It, Jackie. You can't kill it. In my world, he's already dead. I'm serious. I need to see him alive. Turn around. I must have dropped it in the truck. I have one in the house. Where have you been? I have been worried sick. I can't explain right now. We have to go. I can't explain. We have to go. Okay? Well, what's going on? Get what you need. Who, who are you? Why are you handcuffed? There's no time. Yeah, I found it. Well, I, I guess, um, okay. Well, we have to take the crib that you made. We don't have time to take the crib, Ellen. What's here? What's here? This is here. 
Blitz here. It's gonna take years before any of the area grows back near the campground. Yeah, but well, it doesn't have to be our loss. I mean, we can build. This is gonna be the greatest vacation site in the southeast. I'm telling you, it's a blessing in disguise. A strip of 30 or 40 or, or so bars and restaurants and, and hotels. He's started. Hmm? That's it. Hudson started the fire. Hudson! We need to talk. Oh, good. I was hoping I'd run into you. I came out to congratulate you. Really? On what? Really, you're standing on the future side of a brand new mall mart. <laughs> Before. I'm so sorry about this. Home is any place we're together. Yeah. I just thought this was it. It was perfect. <laughs> 